So this star is so big that if you were to put it where the sun is, mm -hmm. it would be as big as Jupiter's orbit. Oh, wow. Now you see why it's my favorite star. Whenever anything happens with Betelgeuse, I get very excited. Oh, wow. So it would be like this all the way past the asteroid. All, yeah, it would swallow Jupiter. If you guys don't like Betelgeuse, <laughs> whatever. Um, just go see Orion and you'll see him on the top right shoulder. Right shoulder. So if Betelgeuse makes up the top right shoulder. It's unmistakable. It's red. Red Massive. super giant. This thing's only 10 million years old. So it's like the, the, the sun is 5 billion years old. Okay. And the sun is going to become a red giant. But not a super giant. Oh, so this is its. This is its. This is its dying. This thing is dying. It used to be a blue massive star, mm -hmm. and then it ran out of oxygen because um, one of the cool things about stars is like the bigger you are, the shorter your lifespan. It's kind of like you party too hard and then yeah, you're just like, F yeah, right? live, live free and die hard. Yes, exactly. Yep. Stars do that in exactly. Okay. Like the bigger you are, the faster you deplete the hydrogen. That gives you life. Right. That gives you life, and then. Now you ran out of hydrogen. Now you got to start burning burning helium. Once you run out of helium, now you got to start burning carbon and nitrogen. Once you once you start running out of that, <laughs> you swell up, and then you know things are bad.